what uh, happened from last time we talking 14 December 2021. Yes, so uh, we recorded the new album uh, and we also finished the the composition. Uh, we pressed to the CD and we 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 were searching for some stages. So we are so we have some plans for this year and uh, since last december yes we, we work a lot on the, on the last album uh, which uh, took all our time okay cool so can you tell me more about the seed because i see that in, in their facebook and uh, it's look uh, really nice thank you it's completely different from the the ep uh, behind the veil uh, because we 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 hired a, a new drummer and uh, we were all wanted to make something different, something more brutal, more violent, uh, something uh, more black metal uh, that can correspond to all of us. And um, yes, it's it's very different because uh, the music is more aggressive. There are more or crustacean and uh, there are some surprises in the vocal so i kept the lyrical ba base and uh, i don't know if you if you listen to the album yet but no uh, no not yet because uh, i have a lot of uh, bandies uh, uh, last week we do 20 interviews so it's a lot of <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I kept the lyrical uh, voice and I added uh, some uh, scream and rolls to to nuance all the singing. Okay. So uh, in, even the the themes are very different from the EP, uh, which was very sweet uh, and uh, and kind. On this album, it's really different because uh, it is told like tales, gothic tales, and uh, all songs have a different theme uh, on the contrary from the EP, which was uh, a story from the beginning to the end. And now on the, this, uh, this album, uh, each song has a different theme, has a different story. And uh, we, we made a lot of uh, research to, to have the the more, the, I don't know how to say it, the, the most basis on the on, on each song. Okay, cool. So is, uh, is it more black metal, you say? Yes. Okay, that would be cool, because I, I really like black metal. <laughs> 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 yes, it's, it's not really black metal as we can... Uh, we can take it uh, like uh, I don't know more uh, black metal band that can be Cradle of Fear or or maybe uh, a lot of black metal. I can uh, say anything on the yeah. band because there are there are too many. But we we stayed symphony metal because we like it, and we added some uh, black metal touches like uh, aggressive riffs in the in the so, uh, the guitar. Uh, in the so, drum, very, very fast. Okay, so if uh, I don't uh, understand you wrong, it's more melodic metal, black metal. Yes. Okay, cool. Then I definitely want to listen to this uh, CD and check it out. Yes, <laughs> it will be with pleasure. Uh, it is available on YouTube, uh, Spotify, uh, Apple Music, so you can listen it. Uh, for free uh, everywhere you want okay and then uh, then i will uh, put it in the information uh, on youtube when i post this uh, interview i'm sorry i didn't understand. I, I say uh, then i will post the link on the information on uh, youtube when i post this uh, interview with you yes so that's great so uh, have you been in in uh, any gigs from last time no, from uh, last December we didn't have uh, something uh, or some place to play because uh, we, we weren't uh, ready because the album 
uh, was released in the beginning of September, but uh, we we had some contact uh, to to play uh, in a month in the, yeah. the, the next month. But for now, we didn't play. Okay, so maybe that will happen uh, for next year. Yes, in February, uh, at the end of February, we have uh, a first uh, a first gig, and we will share the stage with uh, another um, uh, symphonic uh, metal band, uh, who is the Sleeping Romance. Cool. So, mm. uh, what 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 is your plan for next year? Do you have any big plans, or do you want to say? Uh, we will continue to to try to find some stages. Uh, we also have for next year uh, the project to to film more clips, video clips, uh, and uh, we will, I think, in uh, for the next year, uh, we will begin to compose the next album. Okay, cool. So. Uh, I have start with uh, a new part of my interview. I have eight uh, fast questions. So yes. do you, are you ready for that? Ready. Okay, so what was the first uh, record you buy for your own money? Oh, um, I'm not proud of it. <laughs> but uh, when I was young, I was, I was following my friends, uh, which were listening Pop music, and I think the first record I uh, I bought with my own money was uh, was uh, "Oops, I Did It Again" from okay. Whitney Houston. Okay. <laughs> okay, I understand. <laughs> okay, so uh, which Dion. song do you wish you had made? Um, I think I wish I have made uh, "Bohemian Rhapsody" from Queen because for me it is the best song ever written. That's true. It's a really, really great song and a powerful song. Mm -mm. So, what is the best record ever have released? Uh, ever has been. I think uh, uh, because uh, I think I listen it uh, very often. It is the CD from. Uh, um, Symphonic black metal band called Candles and Wraith, and the CD is uh, Candelabria. And okay. uh, I love it. It is a very, uh, very good album. I don't know them, so that, uh, maybe I need to check it out. Yes, uh, I can uh, send you the link. It is, it is an Austrian metal band. It's very, very good. Yeah, that, that would be cool. So, uh, what is the uh, strangest thing happened on a concert you have been? The weirdest, the weirdest things? Yeah, the strange thing, you know. Uh, um, it is not so so much strange, but I went to see uh, Power Wolf in the in the concert, and uh, I didn't know, but uh, the singer is very funny, and he made uh, jokes. All over the 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 concert, and it was very very cool. So it is very uh, contrasting be between uh, the songs he sang and uh, and the physique he has, and, and uh, the the funny side of the singer. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, I, I I really like when the the, the singer is uh, playing with the crowd and uh, have fun. Yes, yes, it was very cool. So, what is the best concert you have seen? Uh, maybe it is. Uh, I went to see uh, Sabaton in uh, in stage, and it was very very good. And the singer was as happy as we were because he sang, and the public knew all the songs, and uh, he he showed our his yeah. arms and. The hair was up, and he, he said it was incredible, and he was very happy to be here. Yeah, I know what you're talking about because I have been see Sabaton in seven times, 
and uh, last yeah. time was in November last year. Yes. Here, here in Sweden, and uh, actually he will uh, join Veckans Band, uh, Joachim Rodin, for an uh, interview for maybe, I think that was next week. So that will be cool. Mm. So can you say what is the most unrated band or, or uh, artist in the world? Uh, I'm listening to uh, an artist, uh, I think uh, nobody knows. Uh, it is called the Bishop of Exen. It is, I, I don't remember if it's uh, Israeli or, or something like this. Uh, it is a melodic black metal band and it's very, very good. And I think uh, nobody knows. Nobody knows this band. No, I don't know. <laughs> One more band, <laughs> I need to check it out. <laughs> So yes, it is, uh, I, I don't know anybody who, who knows this band. Okay, so uh, is it big or uh, is it just uh, uh, is it a new band? No, no, no. Uh, I think uh, I remember they released their their first EP, uh, CD uh, maybe in. Uh, 2010 and the last in 2020. Okay, so then uh, it have been uh, around. Yes, they, they are in the CD. Okay, cool. I need to check that out uh, again. New <laughs> band. <laughs> so, can you say a record uh, people don't think you li like? Mm. Maybe some ABBA song because uh, I like the ABBA ABBA mm -hmm. band. The Swedish band again. <laughs> yes, uh, it's Swedish and uh, everybody knows about ABBA, but it yeah. is uh, it, it's, uh, really big. Yes, I think everybody likes this band. Yeah, I think so too. Even metalheads. <laughs> yes. So. There are uh, so. Uh, what is your best uh, concert you have seen? Do you answer that question? I don't remember. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, th then we have coming to the uh, last part, and that's our every band give a question to next band. So uh, last band I talk with give uh, what is the difference from the last time we talk? What is the difference? difference with uh, everything from your music from last time we're talking oh uh, maybe it is more uh, it is more true for us because uh, we worked on something uh, we are passionate uh, because uh, we like to to write and to tell stories and to I don't know to and to express uh what we what we feel what we like and uh, maybe the first ep was uh, maybe too, maybe too sweet too kind and this is very uh very similar on uh, on who you on who we are and uh yes maybe it's more like us this music we we are more true in music okay that's cool so do you want to give a question to next band uh, what can I, uh, what can I ask? Uh, uh, whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, uh, it, it, the, the question you give is just for a random band. I take uh, every question yeah. from band, I just uh, take for a random. So I think I have a question. Uh, with which band do you want to to share a stage? Okay, that's cool. And uh, do you want to say anything to everyone want to see this interview? <laughs> Listen to our CD. <laughs> that's the thing. 